Welcome back to the group Let's Play with Sweetie Craft, Terra Freeze, Cosmic Chimp, and myself. And it's been a it's been a interesting week. Um, unfortunately, I'm uh, I'm kind of stuck a little bit. Um, my uh, my cohorts in in this endeavor. Um, well, uh, they they have been um, well somewhat busy with real life. Uh, things and as a result uh, I'm like uh, I guess ahead of them uh, so yep yeah, uh, I have a satellite dish now I just initially I was building it off that bottom base I actually ended up leaving that there because I thought it kind of looked looked kind of interesting I mean it's kind of I don't know kind of like the foundation something and then I have the the dish coming out and then I yeah it turned out okay I uh, started out with kind of you know flatter at the bottom and then I ended up going steeper to the top and as you can tell um, you know you get to to this point and uh, I have a, a bunch of uh, antennas and stuff stuck in there to make it look official and interesting and then um, yeah, if you go down you get into this lot Come on, there you go. And you get into this little area, which I get down with my jetpack so I can still look out. I've got O2 here, so helmet can come off, which is nice. And uh, you can go outside, obviously, and then you can go in, and there's this little space here. You can, oh man, you can barely see it. But um, let me put my helmet back on. I'll go outside quickly and show you. Uh, da, 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 da. see it's kind of like um, the whole thing is kind of on that you know on top of that little space I don't know I, I, I actually quite like it um, I think it's it came out pretty much as I as I hoped actually I think it came out better than I'd hoped to be honest um, now of course I can make sure I don't change the color of the entire base because it would be a nightmare to try and fix this at one piece I wish there was a way to um, <coughs> kind of I don't know, have a separation between grids somehow in terms of color so I can say, hey, color this entire grid, meaning, you know, that, that satellite dish that's sitting over there. But hey, whatever. <coughs> Sorry. I have a bit of a, a frog in the throat. Um, anyhow, so, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, this, you know, area doesn't have much in it right now. It's got your, uh, you know, cargo container and, uh, and some goodies there. And uh, that's about it, really. Um, and as you go up the l up the uh, stairs here, obviously, like I said, you're back to this space again. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I don't know about this blue line, though. Um, I might have to do something about that, but uh, that's a problem for a different day. Right now, it's just adding some color, I guess. So um, that is where we at, where we are at the moment. Um, so I'm going to obviously try in my, uh, in, in the game, you know, the role-playing kind of world, uh, I'm going to try to communicate with the, uh, uh, the chimp and the craft, because I know they are on that, uh, there's a planet that I can't even see from, uh, from here. It's not even in my, uh, in my skyline, but I mean, I, the, these planets don't rotate like normal planets do, so, so who knows. So anyways, uh, the next item on the agenda, uh, obviously I've got to finish all these railings yet, but that's kind of low priority. It's not like you're going to fall too far, it's going to you know, fall down like this, I suppose. <laughs> so it's not like, but I mean, it, for the aesthetics of it, oh man, I I don't know, would you guys, what do you guys think, huh? Uh, I love it. I, it. It came out exactly as I had envisioned it. Envision, envisioned it. Um, it just this whole thing just looks so really cool. It's like I'm taking over this entire side of the mountain here. I mean, I've got my base there. I've got everything over there. It, yeah, I, I'm happy. I think this is cool. So now on to different things, I guess. So I think I've done just about everything that I had set out to do. Um, I mean, there's still some little minor details, like um, I would have liked to 
uh, and this is kind of if I had more than one person here I, I think that would have been a cool thing to do but uh, I was gonna at some point put like living quarters up in that uh, top flat deck uh, down above the refineries um, I would have potentially done some more automation in terms of various other things um, like uh, the airlocks I would have liked to replace the regular airlocks in the main hangar with a two-door system uh, that normally would be open so you can just walk right through them and then if it detects that there's an oxygen loss of oxygen it would then turn on um, easy or uh, not easy uh, easy airlocks it would then turn on the easy airlock script and voila everything would be great uh, another thing I kind of I might still do depending on how this next build goes but um, uh, Epictetus in his last uh, episode I think uh, he had this um, I think it's the small rename script or something to that extent and uh, yeah I love that that is that's the script for me I, I've seen other ones before that one makes it so much easier and I really like it I would like to try that as well so um, let me get myself set up here and um, we'll start with the next part of this adventure all right then so we need to get up there um, I need to build a ship that'll get me up into outer space and uh, go uh, mine some uh, asteroids maybe to be honest I don't know if we have a moon around this planet I don't recall if seeing one on my way in but I mean I remember I was effectively cryo lagged and didn't really know what was going on um, so uh, I'm thinking building a ship with uh, at least uh, kind of like the Hedwig was um, a, probably just a single refinery a single assembler uh, what else would I need hydro obviously hydrogen to get out some atmospherics to help me get up there I mean yeah obviously I could make those, those atmospherics drop off but yeah I could probably use the resources the motors and stuff from it once I'm up there um, yeah uh, so where should we begin that is the question oh there's one thing I did want to look at uh, so something I need to do obviously when I, once I get up there first priority would be to find um, uh, platinum uh, for to make uh, ion thrusters which you kind of need to make an effective um, uh, you know vacuum or space craft um, but another one you need another thing you need uh, is jump drives and do they need anything? No, they don't actually. I thought these might need something that would require platinum, which to me would actually make a lot more sense. You wouldn't be able to just, you know, on a regular planet like this, just build them. So, I don't know. Probably not. I think to, to make a ship large enough for that would be kind of silly at this point anyways. So obviously the idea for me would be the ship could potentially go straight down there. So I'm wondering, should I go and build it? Yeah, why not? Let's use this lovely space that I've created and um, go downstairs and build build me a ship and make sure I don't... I don't know if you've watched any of my videos before, but uh, I have a habit of coming down here and not watching my speed and ramming headfirst into these hangar doors, dying almost every time. It's lovely. Ha ha ha. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, he left you on jokes, right? I, I always heard the thing that's, um, I think I've done this as well. I'm uh, repeating myself. It's okay to talk to yourself. They said something that's not okay to answer yourself. I would amend that. It gets kind of weird if you answer yourself in a different voice or a different personality. That would be cool. And slash funny and slash probably in need of a psychiatrist. So, uh, what I was thinking is we have this nice little spot right over here and we have that lovely hangar door right over there so I could uh, start right here and now I need uh, me some, uh, some landing gear yeah see I had all my antennas up in there as so I was doing a bunch of antenna stuff landing gears I wish it was a different th this is I always wish well in game I would like to see in-game, just as a FYI for whoever's watching, um, a different, um, you know, type of landing gear, I guess, like, a, you know, I don't know, something that's uh, 
smaller potentially or maybe retractable but make it part of the stock game uh, that's my my feeling anyways so landing gear you don't really need landing gear up there well i suppose you're gonna get onto an asteroid i was wondering if i would put them <laughs> steel pl really really i don't have steel plate uh, oh, i'm also running out of this probably should add some there oh look at this my uh my cryo chamber is actually functioning the way it's supposed to work. Isn't that lovely? Okay. And yeah, everything's filled up. Okay, good. And I have oxygen here, so I can take off my helmet, which is nice. Okay, so landing gear. So I was thinking maybe putting it like that. I was I was kind of thinking of putting four of them paint up, up painting, four of them facing in opposite directions, kind of make it an interesting looking, I don't know, design maybe. Um. Yeah, so hydrogen, and then uh, probably on the outside some atmospherics to help get out. Uh, obviously a large cargo container, um, you know, all the other basics I would think. And I think I'm going to build a ship in a uh, vertical orientation like this. The question I have is should I build it so that... Um, it's vertical in this way. Uh, you know, I think Epictetus did that in his series zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His very first episode, actually, in in his uh, his let's play, his single player let's play. I think he put in um, these. Uh, we built, I should say, this whole ship that was, you know, that that kind of orientation. So, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Now, first of all, let's come up with a somewhat different color not quite as dreary as everything else I've got here um, oh man, I've gone for these dark kind of weird colors lately haven't I I don't know I got in the kick because if you have it all the way up like this you don't really see the the, the there like you see that oh that looks like my other color uh, you kind of get more of a you see the armor more I should say if you do that it's just a solid you know like that it's just a solid blue thing so maybe like over there maybe pull that Oh, wait, does that even make a difference? Oh, it does. Okay, there you go. How about that color? Oh, maybe maybe like reddish. Ooh, there. Oh, that was a nice color. That's almost that's almost cosmic orange. How about I make this kind of a weird... There. Okay, let me see. Color that thing. So now the question. Uh, should I put these as just uh, conveyors, which I've been using a lot lately in, in as a beginning? Eh. So one and then i'm gonna need so let me go and find uh, i think it's called armor and there would be uh, let's try and find that two sure, i think it's these ones hydrogen armor thrust tier four yeah we need to go for the big boys need more power uh oh, we need hydrogen tanks as well all right all right let's do that so uh, i need the big guy and yeah, actually that was a good spot for it. Right there? Wait, why is that? Oh, because I'm an idiot. No, oh, not really. An, okay, maybe I'm an I, I don't know, what What would you define idiot? Because you can be really smart, like Sheldon smart, and still be an idiot. All right, I like that. It'll give me, I'm probably gonna add, uh, see, I don't even know how much thrust I need. This might be sufficient thrust. And uh, just for, I'm a sucker for symmetry. Symmetry or, um, yeah, I see, I should have done that. Symmetry or uh, purposeful, what do you call dissymmetry? Unsymmetry? Non-symmetry? Non-symmetrical? Whatever, one of those things. So what I was going to do earlier was, you know how much this does. If you do this and put in these guys instead... And you are set already to be able to hook things up. So I like that. Uh, I think that's the right way, is it? No, it isn't. It moved again. Why? I don't even have T on. Why? Mm. Yeah, that would be really useful. I have the thrust pointing straight down. I mean, I mean straight up. Oh, a door. Mm. Yay! I'm having fun today, aren't I? Woohoo! Come on. There we go. Let me see. Huh? 
Ah, look at that. Is that better? There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Right. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't be this way. I notice sometimes it's like, am I too close? Is it? What? And you can't, you can't change the, is that a, oh, that's a, uh, that's a survival thing, right? You can't actually zoom in and out with the part. All right, so why is this not connecting? What on earth? That works. That works. That, oh, did it work? No, was it green? No, it wasn't. Uh. Oh, because, of, wow, why? Why? Oh, and, oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, that sucks. Oh. I thought it was in the middle. It's in the middle there. It's not in the middle there. Well, I guess that changes things, doesn't it? Okay, fine. I don't want, I don't want it to be like, because otherwise it's going to be like down not there. You know what I mean? <sighs> well, I'm going to go up with these things anyways. So let me go up two like that, maybe. And then uh, put this thing right over here. And it's just still doing that because it turned again. What? You can see T is off. I should highlight that in the edit in the video and post. There. See? Boom. It's now connected. Turn this off. It's pointing down. Perfect. You can see that. I should be able to fly in there, shouldn't I? Anyhow, so that's that thing. So now what I was saying was okay. So for the OCD, it needs to be. Um, oops, symmetrical. I was thinking of doing that. I was just going to make this strip too big to get out of here. That's the bigger question, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it'll be very big. Well, actually, you know what? It's just it's just the space down here that's a little bit small, actually. So, yeah, it'll be fine. I might have to remove some blocks or something. All right, so like that. Hey, where's my landing gear? Where did you put my landing gear? Huh? Okay, now. Uh, turning this thing outwards. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, can't place it. Fine. I'll have to place it later. So that one is pointing that way. And this one I can't place either. Because that's in the way. Okay, I can take care of that. Come on. I get this weird lag events that happen. I wish I understood what was going on. But uh, let me have a look again. Can I do it now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me see. Turning it facing outward. Wonderful. And I'm guessing this is probably the same problem here. In fact, I could probably easily take away one whole row of these. I don't really need that overhang. I mean, why? Get some steel back. Yeah, I suppose I could do the same here, but anyways. So, let me see. Ah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Pointing outward. Okay, so, you have these four landing gears with this big hydrogen thing in the middle. I could put, you know, thrusters like uh, atmospherics or something in there if I need to. Um, a bunch of things I could do. Yeah, I like it. That's a good beginning. So now, obviously, I need the big things. So probably a... Uh, mm, oxygen... I mean, a, a, a large container. Oh, hydrogen tank. That would probably be one of the first and most important things. Man, this thing's going to be tall. It's going to be taller than... Oh, what? What, what, why am I why am I suddenly in zero? <sighs> These occasional I don't have any more things. See, I'm gonna probably need two tanks at least, I would think, or I would need a bunch of tanks around the outside. Well, maybe one tank will be sufficient, assuming that I um hmm. Assuming I use uh, um atmospherics most of the way up and then hydros to get me the last bit. See, I'm thinking that this thing is kind of going to get me at least um, you know, into space get to land 
somewhere, hopefully, maybe even build a little base up on um, on an asteroid or something, and then mine and build a you know a, a normal large you know a larger sized um, ship with all of its so all the bells and whistles that are needed. Um, hmm. Sometimes I wish I could get feedback. People probably yelling at the screen. Well, no, just do this, do that. So I can only go this tall. I should have built this upstairs. That's what I should have done. Because if that's the height limit, I'm going to have to go wider. Well, something else I can do is I can put in... Uh, and, uh, where is the oxygen generator? Oxygen. Da is... Da is... Da is do? Da is... Is? Da is est? Ugh. My Deutsch is not good. Three. Okay, so this thing has a thing at the top, thing at the bottom. It has them both sides. I don't really need it this side. Would be nice to get that container hooked up, but eh. So if I did it this way... Oh, wait. If I do it this way... It is actually connected up to that, and it's connected up to that. And if I put four of these guys all the way around, that'll give me a fair amount of generation ability. Plus, I can stick hydros. Um, come on, come on. I can stick like a hydro right over there. At some point, I'm going to just have to start building because these wireframes don't always help you along. See, the thing is, yeah, man, this is going to be interesting. Oh, you know what? I, I have another option, though. Okay, so I have this guy, which is the azimuth large one, which is a whole, I think it's like 3 by 3 by 4 This thing is a beast. But, there also is, there is, what also is, there is also an azimuth medium container, which is how big? It's only like, you know, whatever that space. And, oh man, I wonder how, what is the capacity of this thing? So let me see. Well, because what I was thinking was, okay, so like, okay, so you see down here, so I, I, hopefully I made them, I did. So what I could do, instead, so I'm trying to make this more of a compact build, I guess. Uh, I could put, you know, four of these guys going all the way around like this. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I screwed that up, didn't I? I screwed that up. Oh, man. Oh, actually, does that actually work? Yeah, isn't that hydrogen thruster going to take care, take out my landing gear then? Probably will, doesn't it? Alright, so that's completely wrong. It's a good thing I haven't built everything yet. So, going this way one... And then put the landing gear back. Which now it probably won't fit anymore. No, it still fits. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then I can continue with my medium cargo containers. So this ship, a lot of the ship's going to be on the outside. It's not going to be a nicely enclosed ship with armor all the way around, etc. Yeah. I mean, I could literally put another set of them on there if I need more storage, but that might just be enough. I need enough hydrogen, I need enough parts, I guess, to be able to do something up in uh, in space. I'm liking where this is going. This looks cool. So now it means I don't worry about... Um, so I've got oxygen generation. I have got um, storage for both uh, hydrogen as well as, you know, the other necessary goodies. I don't think a thing this side I need an oxygen tank. So that, I think, is... Forget that. Um, what else? Maybe I need... Uh, well, I need, obviously, gyros, which I need to put somewhere. And, of course, I haven't even begun putting in um, all the other thrusters. See, that's the... that's Okay, well, good and negative, right? Good and bad, I should say. Um, so, the nice thing about these... Where did I put them? Uh, the, this guy. The good thing is about about these thrusters, these hydrogen th thrusters that are like this. Well, not that one. This one here. So you get these with the big one. You get that one that's like a. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. Huh. 
Anyways, I'm squirrel. Um, is I can do this, for instance, right? And it'll it'll sit in there perfectly and kind of be out of the way, and it's hooked up to. Oh wait, no, it's hooked up to the oxygen. Ay, 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 ay. Anyways, my point is it doesn't take up much room. What I'm trying to say between all of the mistakes. So if I remember correctly, the the, the port is right there. Uh, da -da. I gotta keep an eye on the time. I'm having fun doing this. Actually, I should be. So the problem about this game, it's actually, it's well, obviously it's quite addicting, but uh, yeah. Anyways, right, I'm gonna muck around some more. I don't wanna bore you with all of this. Um, I need to put a cock. Well, I, I'm thinking. I don't wanna just have a regular cockpit. I would like to have like a space that you can, you know, have a seat and all that kind of stuff. And I'm either gonna have the seat pointing. Well, here I am rambling on again. I'll be back, and I'll talk about what I've done. All right, well, as I was doing this, I kind of realized um, that, um, yeah, I'm still missing a few key pieces in this puzzle. Um, so I have atmospherics going down, I have hydrogens going left and right, and for some obscure reason, this thing is not, is the model broken for this? All right, hang on, get my interface back. Oh, no. Oh, I guess I'm missing some components. Oh, please don't tell me those things need. Uh, you know what? I'm going to guess. Hang on, before I even continue, I'm going to go check something, because I'm thinking there's large injector thingies probably need platinum to change my plan. Anyways, I'll come back to that. Um, so I've got, you know, most of the components. I started with this kind of a shape up here, so I'll try and level this out, put some glass around it. Put a you know flight seat that is pointing maybe flat. I don't know. Maybe you fly this thing. That would be weird though, wouldn't it? I mean, your primary form of propulsion is vertical. Well, I mean, if I if I built this thing like I said as a, oh boy, put the cockpit like pretend like this is like the bottom for instance. And have it flying that way. Oh well. I have to figure that out. Anyways, so I've got to figure that out. Um, I have to figure out uh, where to put some reactors still. I'm considering taking this shape of the armor. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to enclose it completely, but I could take the sh this armor shape. I could take it actually down to basically by those atmospherics over there and get kind of this tubular looking space like rocket almost and which will give me some more interior room to squeeze in a few things like uh, I don't know gyros uh, re small maybe some small reactors I don't, I don't think I'll be able to fit a large reactor anywhere in this ship um, I was thinking I'm not gonna um, put a refinery and assembler on this I'm going to uh, have enough materials on this to be able to build that so my first order of business would be uh, build a base uh, somewhere up, up there in the in the in the in the world, um, and obviously I might have to switch out. Like I said, these um, tier um, four hydrogens. Uh, you can see there it's missing large hydrogen injector, so I might have to f swap that out. Um, I mean, that's the whole idea of the tiered system is to make it m you know more challenging. So um, I will look into that potentially downgrade my hydrogen thrusters a little bit and uh, add all the missing bits and then I'll try and get this thing uh, topside um, and maybe next episode we can go to space I will also at the beginning of next episode I'll try and coordinate with the uh, the chimpies and the sweeties of the world and see if I can at least make a radio communication with them and uh, so then we'll actually have a quote group let's play my apologies for taking so long, but uh, we did start in different places, and the intention was always for us to potentially to be in the same universe, but to be able to do our own thing, and then occasionally uh, maybe cross paths and work together on something because of our all our, our different schedules and so on. So, but uh, again, um, subscribe, uh, like button, comment, um, and uh, I guess as always, uh, thanks for watching.